Welcome back. As many as 40 million Americans are living with dyslexia, and one of them happens to be our dear friend Stephanie Rule, who's the host of the 11th Hour on MSNBC. But we never knew that. Yeah. She recently opened up about her challenges in an Instagram post, and it's really resonated with a lot of people. Steph wrote, this message is for any dyslexic out there hating school right now. I totally get it. School sucks. Paying attention is impossible. No matter how many times you read the words on the page, they don't seem to interact with your brain. And she went on to say this, which I love. I promise school eventually ends. And when it does, calculus and physics need not be in your next chapter. And the real world cannot wait for you to unleash your op awesomeness. Love always. Cliff Notes using, cheat sheet making, detention dominating, he needs to improve self-discipline on every report card getting, formerly frustrated fellow dyslexic, <laughs> Steph Rule. Oh, Can I cannot believe I'm here talking about this. Like, I can't. I cannot. This so, was never my plan. So this was prompted by an Instagram post. You were on a flight. So what made you decide to even write this? I was on a flight for a work trip yeah. and uh, trying to read the same book I put in my backpack for every flight, and I couldn't get through the book. And I'm looking out the window, and I'm thinking about my son, who's also dyslexic. Yeah. And I'm thinking, he is sitting in class right now, hating life. Yeah. Hating his teacher, can't get through it. And I said, like, sometimes he reads my posts. I'm just going to write this. Yeah. Oh. The flight lands, and my phone was blowing up with people from all walks of life saying, that's me, that's my daughter, that's my brother. And I thought, oh, my gosh, like, if I can connect with someone. And I also wrote it because there I was having years of hating school, yeah. going on a work trip to cover the NBA All-Star yeah. Weekend, right, my dream job. And I just want to say... School does end, right? School is for linear thinkers, and the world can't wait to meet you, but you got to get through school because yeah. that's the thing. Many, many of us think, I'm not a student, I'm going to give up. And I'm just saying, hang on, life awaits. Yeah. Can you just, I mean, the accommodations that you make just have convinced us that you're even more brilliant yes. than we knew, which we already knew how brilliant you were. So, like, I want to talk about how you do your show and how mm -hmm. you prepare. But just for people, because I think, you know, dyslexia is one of those things that people say now. Like, oh, I jumbled up my words. I'm dyslexic. Yeah. It's not that. Can you explain what it is? And yeah. you were just or diagnosed 10 years ago I, as an adult. I was only diagnosed when my son was because many people think, oh, you know, it's when your words are backwards or your letters are inside out. And that's not it. You know, people actually thought I was a super reader when I was little because I can memorize words. Mm -hmm. I have a great memory. So when I was three and four years old, I could recite poems wow. and short stories. So they had me start school early. But then come first and second grade when comprehension mm -hmm. starts, when, when the more complicated stories have to get in your head, that's when you start hustling and kind of cheating. Is right? that that's what you did in school? Yes, and that's when you're negotiating with teachers to say, how about an extra credit project? How about a presentation? Because you can't get through. Mm -hmm. And I always thought... I don't love pages. I love people. I'm not a student. I can't wait for work. Yeah. And then even work started when I was in banking. At first, they stuck us in research. And I thought, I'm not smart enough for research. I got to get into sales. And then I got into sales. And I'm like, this is great. But I never had the fundamental things. I, I never had those building blocks I needed to get because I didn't know I had it. I, I was always in this hustle. And then for years, I'd be writing down words I didn't know the definition of. Yeah. And it wasn't until... My son, my oldest son, I saw him go from this outgoing, confident kid. He just couldn't learn to read. And his younger brother was finishing his stories for him, right? Mm. I, I take, it was one amazing teacher. We all have those teachers mm -hmm. who said, you've got to get this boy checked out. Mm -hmm. And when they told me he was dyslexic, I thought, this is, this is everything I have. When, mm -hmm. when I joined Today Show, Weekend Today Show, that was my hardest job because for you guys, you're covering 15 different stories yeah. in 10 minutes. You're going from here to here. I can't do that. How, by the way, just so our, our job is reading this script and reading that prompter, I watched you prepare when you do segments. You always have index cards. Always. You always had a Sharpie. And always. I was like, and I would always see you kind of talking to yourself. My lifeline yeah. right here. So for me, it doesn't matter what the subject is, yeah. right? That's why lots of people think I don't understand business. I don't have reading comprehension for anything, but I can take a dense subject and I make an outline and a shorter outline and a shorter outline. And then that prompter for me is not a roadmap. It's just a safety net, right? A word here, a word there. And then I've got my words. I know I'm going to hit. That's and where so you go. that's how. And then I'm going to cover one subject and I'm going to do it in a deep way. So for business, which people think they don't get, I'm going to say, I'm going to take this hard subject and we're just going to break it down because that's what I have to do. Break everything down in small bites. But that's I mean, that's obviously a sign of intelligence yeah. that you really have to understand this material. It's not some just shallow 
reading mm -hmm. of something, you ingest it. I mean, so what if you do have to study up for an interview or something? Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you, do you get like briefings from your producers or we're how talking, do you learn right? this From my show, from my producer, okay. we're talking through it all okay. the time. And I'm curious, right? All of us mm -hmm. end up in these industries because we're storytellers and we love people. And, and so that's how I'm breaking things down. And for my kids, right, I want to help them with those strategies. My son, who I said had no love of learning, always trying to dig this out. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, guess what? We're going to get these note cards. You're going to advocate for yourself. Rather than be that kid who's behaving badly in the back of the classroom, let's get a planner and let's get ahead of this game because the world cannot wait to meet you. You are so dazzling, but we got to get through school. Uh, By the way, I, I'm imagining parents right now watching yes. this, cheering you on because their kid is in that too. position. Get yeah. that planner for your kids. Yeah. Go through their schedule so it's not Sunday night and their back's against the wall, yeah. and then they maybe are cheating or looking for those Cliff's notes. Get them ahead of the game on Friday. So they're saying to their teacher, hold on, I don't understand these directions. Talk me through it. Talk, Talk me, me through it, it on Thursday or Friday so it's not Sunday night and we're in a panic. Well, Stephanie, I think you are just getting this conversation. I'm so lucky to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank wow, you. that was awesome. Thank you so much. We will see you tonight oh, on the 11th yes, hour. Yes, we will. With up your, all night, up early morning. With your cards. With, your cards. with, with my go, cards go and my girl. Sharpie. Yeah. Go girl. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.